All right. First question is from Kylie Schranzi. You have mentioned that the more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism can be. Can you please explain this a little bit further? Yes, uh, yes. yes. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm cutting you off. No, on go this. for it. And the reason why I want to start because uh, this one, um, I've, I've got into it with people online uh, many times over the way I, I explain this because, and this is a, uh, another one of those examples where I talk about how it, it annoys me when. Um, fitness professionals and uh, academia do this where we we get into arguing over semantics on who's more right about the science. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I, one of the best ways to explain this to uh, the average client so they understand and get the concept is to kind of break down like how many calories more does muscle burn per day versus fat. And that I used to use, and there's all kinds, and where the debate comes from is there's all kinds of research and study to show how drastically different that is for person to person, which that's where it can get really muddy and confusing when trying to explain to the average person. But the way I would explain it to somebody is this, for every extra pound of muscle that you have on your body, so for every pound of muscle we build on your body, your body burns an additional 30 to 50 calories a day. Now, the, where, that's where the argument is. Oh, well, that's too high. Oh, that's not high enough. Like, oh, that's not. We have studies show that it's way less than that. Here's the deal. The, the, the idea is to get the point across so people understand, not get hung up on the exact percentage, the exact calorie amount. The idea is for you to understand as a, as a, a client that if I can get you to add five pounds of muscle on your body, then I potentially have got your metabolism burning an additional two to 300 extra calories every single day without doing any extra activity. It's because muscle is an expensive tissue. It requires more calories to sustain, to stay on your body more than fat does. You add fat, it doesn't take a lot of calories to keep fat on your body. It does take more calories to keep muscle. So as we build more muscle, it's more expensive. It needs more calories to stay. That's how it speeds up the metabolism. And the number is what's debatable. But it did to me, I used to just give that 40 to 60 calories extra per pound to put it into perspective for a client that, hey, listen, we can keep your scale the same. And I could actually add five pounds of muscle to your body and lose body fat. And you would stay the same on the scale, but because you've added five pounds of muscle, your body is now burning an additional X calories per day. Right. So, it, and it, it, it gets even more interesting than that because mm. there's the obvious: you have more active tissue. Mm -hmm. That active tissue requires more calories just to maintain. Fat is, uh, you know, fat is still an active tissue, but it's far less active um, than muscle, so it requires less calories to maintain. One of the most expensive tissues on the body is the brain. Um, it utilizes quite a bit of calories for the amount, you know, the size it is, and your organs as well. Um, but muscle is a, is, a, is a relatively expensive tissue, so that's the simple way of explaining it. And it's if look, bottom line is more muscle means you'll burn more calories. That's the bottom line. Yeah. But there's more to it. It also goes this far that there's a bit of metabolic flexibility within the amount of lean mass that you have on your body. So what I mean by that is you could have. 150 pounds of lean mass on your body and your body could run off of 2,000 calories or 2,800 calories with the same amount of lean body mass. Now, how does that happen? Well, there's the body can make itself without necessarily changing the amount of lean tissue and whatnot. The, it can change the efficiency of how you utilize calories. Now, one of, the way, one of the ways to speed up the metabolism is to reduce that efficiency. And one of the best ways to do that is to send a signal to the body that says, I have ample calories coming in and I need to get stronger. So increasing your calories, by the way, just bumping your calories a little bit will actually speed up your metabolism a little bit. Regardless, I don't care who you are, you eat a little bit more, your body burns a little bit more. Now, how much more it burns depends on the individual, depends on the other signals that you're sending your body. But ample calories sends a signal that says, we don't need to be as efficient. Then the other signal is, Am I sending a signal to my body that says I need to get stronger mm -hmm. and build muscle? Even if I kept my lean body mass the same, if I start lifting weights and tell my body I need to get stronger and I need more muscle, just that signal alone reduces efficiency or the, the, the thriftiness that your body has with calories. And we've seen this with the people that we've trained. I've had clients I've worked with who have only gained a couple pounds of muscle, but the calories that they burn more – doesn't make any sense. You gain two pounds of muscle, you're burning 800 more calories. I know two pounds of muscle just sitting there isn't burning 
400 calories yeah, it's the more the environment per, you create. That's it. That's it. It's not burning 400 more calories per pound. So there's 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 other things that happen there that we don't quite understand, but I've observed it time and time again. I know other coaches, coaches that work with competitive uh, you know, physique competitors, bodybuilders and bikini competitors, like Lane Norton, he talks about this all the time. We don't exactly know what's going on, but we've observed it and you make your metabolism faster by both building muscle and by sending the signals to your body that say, we don't need to be thrifty. You do those two things, and you do them consistently, and you do it the right way and appropriately, and you'll see a pretty steep ramp up of the calories. I've been blown away many times by it. Well, yeah, and just behaviorally, like seeing, uh, you know, if you're if your body, if you're focused more on building muscle and, and you know going in that direction, just what kind of activity that promotes overall in you know comparison to you know your lean body mass, like and and you're you're optimizing your your fat storage, like so yeah, just just the behavior of 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 you know acquiring more muscle is going to create uh, more calorie burn. Well, yeah, it's the, it's the two major factors. Factor one, to have more to have more muscle in your body requires more energy to keep it there. So it, it needs more calories than fat does. Mm -hmm. So that's factor one. And then factor two, if you're telling the body by lifting weights to build more muscle, it needs more calories to build the muscle. It doesn't build it out of thin air. Yeah. So it needs calories there also. So it's not just having more muscle speeds up the metabolism. It's also the act of trying to build muscle is also requiring more calories. The combination of those two factors is what results in what I've observed in my time, roughly somewhere between 30 to 50 calories per pound of lean body mass or pound of muscle that you add to your body, give or take, because there is a variance per person. But it's a really good number to give people a kind of an idea of like, wow, if I really make an effort to build muscle and I could just put on five or six pounds of muscle and focus that way, I potentially could speed my metabolism that much. That's a significant difference. It is. And look, uh, you know, a while ago, uh, one of the for actually the first time we interviewed uh, what I consider to be one of the smartest professional bodybuilders in the world, uh, uh, Ben Pikulski, you know, up until that point, up until we met him, I thought that one of the the genetic deciding factors, one of the factors that determined whether or not uh, somebody could become a pro bodybuilder, besides the fact that they could build lots of muscle and they respond well to exercise and that they you know, that their body responded well to drugs. One of the factors that I thought was they probably had incredible digestion to be able to consume all the calories that it, that their body needed to build so much muscle. I mean, some of these guys are, are coming in shredded 270 pounds. That's what I thought. So when I interviewed Ben and I told him this, he said, it's the opposite. He said, pro bodybuilders are able to eat less and build tons of muscle. They actually can walk around with tons and tons of muscle in their body and not have this huge metabolism spike. It's one of the reasons why they can carry so much muscle. Imagine if you were, you know, 250 pounds, you'd have to consume 10 or 12,000 calories every day. That's going to kill you. And yet some of these guys are walking around 5,000 calories, 4,000 calories, able to maintain it. So there's a bit of a genetic component, uh, you know, that's influenced there as well. But if you want to speed up your metabolism, Build muscle and then send the signals that tell your body you don't need to be thrifty with calories. That's going to speed up your metabolism. How much it speeds up, that can be determined on your genetics and, and some of your past, but that's how you speed it up. That's the most effective way I've seen.